I think the worst thing about Father's Day this year was interesting too. Like the the the, the spitefulness in you really wants to post something when you don't have a good relationship with your dad. And somebody gave me good advice about when you don't, whether you're going through whatever with your parent, kids, whatever, not kids, but uh, friends. They, somebody said, post something like to make, go to Instagram, put a picture up, type in what you really wanted to say, and then delete it. Never post it. And I've done that before and I've never posted anything. And it does help because you feel like, okay, I got it out of my system, but nobody saw it. Because man, I say I think of the, some of the, some of the stuff my my dad has done since my divorce. Oh my god! I mean, how you how you? I think that's what what got me was the uh, with my dad. I don't want this to be a hateful Father's Day episode, but just the uh, you're not there growing up for somebody, and then you become older, and now you're trying to, to to fuck up the guy's life as an adult with the divorce. I was like, I mean, he. I wish this is like a, a scene out of a movie. I wish uh, somehow I could translate what happened in mediation into a film because I'm sitting there in mediation and m me and my ex are being cordial. And then she just goes, I'll, I'll never forget as long as I live. She was like, yeah, what, uh, what happened at two or two thousand dollars you want in Reno? And I was like, what are you, what are you talking about right now? And I'm literally macking my brain. Like I, I've never been to Reno. I've never stayed in Reno, Nevada. I drove through it one time in 2018. That was it. But I've never been to Reno. And I'm just going, what is she talking about? And she was like, yeah, I, I saw it. I saw the the screenshot. And I was like, what? And I'm, I'm sitting here going, duh, duh, duh. and you know, it's like, it's like a Rolodex is going on your brain. Like, what is she talking? What is she talking about? I went, oh my God, you got to be shitting me. So when my ex in mediation had said, what happened to the $292,000 I won in Reno, my neighbor moved to Reno, Nevada. His, my old neighbor in California moved to Reno. His wife hit for $292,000. He sent me a screenshot of it. And I was like, no way. And we're going back and forth. And then I sent, me and my dad was being, we was cool at that time. I sent that screenshot to my dad and I said, Hey, look what I just won on the slot machine. I go, don't tell Kenya she'll want half LOL. And he goes, no way. So then I called him and I was like, yo, I'm kidding. I didn't win that. My neighbor won it. So he took that screenshot of that picture and my text and sent it to my ex, but never told her I was kidding. Never told her that wasn't me. He's just starting shit to start shit. And I'm going, why would you do that? Why would you, you know, that's a lie. And like, I, then my ex ended up believing me because I go, dude, you have all my, your lawyers got all my financial records. So at no point is there a, a am I getting gas in Reno? Was there an airline ticket to Reno? Was there a hotel charge in Reno? Was there a restaurant charge in Reno? So if I went to Reno, that means I rode in on a horse and I ate out of uh, uh, my car. Well, I couldn't have a car. I, 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 don't know. I didn't spend no money. I went to Reno and spent no money. And how did I get there? So I think she believed me after that. But she's still like, at first she kind of gave me a side eye, but I was like, Kenya, come on now. $292,000, you can't hide that. And then, uh, so that, that's the thing. I was like, why would he do that? He's just starting shit to start shit. And all this then was, he got mad at me because, uh, I don't want to get it, but he got mad at me over being entitled. I came in town, went to a Reds game, and, and didn't invite him. And my dad got in his feelings, and that kind of ended our relationship right there because he left a voicemail, and he made a phone call to me, and we were cussing each other out. And uh, I, I basically cussed him out more than he cussed, he cussed me out, basically. So he got upset. And then he immediately went to, to my ex and started telling her a bunch of shit about me. I'm like, who does that? And by the way, uh, and I got the text on my phone to show it. Uh, when the divorce first hit the fam, this is the same, this is the same dude that tried to go in on her. He was like saying all this shit about her. I said, no, no, you, you got to stop that. You can't, you can't be going in on her. I said, you know, her whole world's kind of flipped upside down right now. Like she's scared. I go, you can't just go in on her and start putting her down to stop, stop looking at it like that. So, uh, I'm just like, he's a piece of shit. 
So yeah, that wasn't that wasn't a great Father's Day for me, from me to him. So bunch of lying ass bitch.